didn't stay for too long. I had an appointment at one o'clock and one hour from now, so. Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel, or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it is live, and a link in the info box once the video has rendered. If you would like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the Hangout. Number one, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected, and if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. In a moment, I'm going to transition across to the hangout as we do have Arwin waiting in the wings to get an introduction but in the meantime please share the show. Sharing the show obviously increases the audience but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel so please please share the show and one last time if you are new to the channel or you have not done so already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. With that I'll say my first introduction to Arwin. How are you doing Arwin? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing great. Slightly obsessed <sighs> with who Alan <sighs> Bennett is, though, aren't interesting you? Interesting night. I was saying you're slightly, slightly uh, concerned with who Alan Bennett is, and I've said, don't worry about it. You're never <laughs> going to know. Who cares? It's just. I, I guess it's like a, a a novelty curiosity. Like I really want to know who that person is because it's not. It's not who, what they're acting. I'm for sure. Yeah. Just my senses are telling me this uh, with the ninety percent uh, certainty. So, just, just wondering who it is. Who could it be? Who could it be? Just some guy, you know. Just call him Alan. Alan. And yeah, but which Alan. some guy? Well, in the same way as you know, Tim Osman's not really Tim Osman. It's just some guy. You know, who knows who he is? But he's just called Tim Osman. So you just get used to calling these people what they are. I mean, I found out yesterday. That yeah, but Pete is Shea, it the same guy, or which one of the mysterious? Uh, guys is it that it's just yeah or it could be none of them it could just be literally that's just the account name is picked you know if you're gonna pick some random account name your chances are you yeah, just but they use still it only it. have one voice you know it's it's not gonna be a robot yeah but it's just him that's just the voice he picks to use when he comes into hangouts it doesn't mean it's yeah, okay, someone but, else but i mean is that he's still gonna use the how do you say the, the verbal cords of his throat and there's only so much options you can do acting voices. So gotcha. you're going to figure out by their voice if it is a certain person or another. And I just wonder which one of the mysterious unnamed and non-faced people is it? Yeah, but I was listening that's... yesterday and I thought it sounded ah, a bit like There you go. You can ask him. Hi, Alan. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hey, Alan. Then I thought so good. which one are you? Hi, Alan. Oh, hello. 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 You're echoing. You've got your got your watch page on, Alan. Oh, I've corrected that now. Thank you. No worries. So I've My just been saying to Arwin ringing. that you're just Alan, and that's who you are, in the same way as Tim Osman is Tim Osman, even though that's not really who Tim Osman is, you know. But Arwin is under the impression that you're perhaps one of the other um, faceless potatoes. But I'm saying hey, no, you're just, hey. you're just you. I'm right? very much Alan. That's what I said. Well, maybe Alan is your actual name, and you're now coming out of the shadows, which is very brave of you. Thank you, Arwin. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm, I'm with Arwin. I can't listen to Alan B without thinking, all right, then, who is that? I recognize that tone. It, I, for me, it's a cross I just see them. a Monty Python actor acting like a female. Sorry, I, it's not. I'm not trying to be mean. That's just what I'm seeing every time I hear you speak. So, You're weird. I just got associations. That that's it. But I, I'd love to see your actual face moving on camera. It, it is kind of a. Uh, I bet you a, would. A, a, bap, a baptism test. You have to kind of prove that you're really a person. For the record, I so can tell you. If you're you actually are, genuine and you really be like, hey, Alan B, I am a real guy, then you have to do that. Otherwise, you're gonna be a puppet, no matter what. But who then cares maybe who I'll is? come on your hangout later. Who cares who he is, though? Seriously, That's Arwen. Who cares? Deal? Does it matter? Maybe. We don't, I don't know yet. Does. I don't care who you, you see, are, Alan. 
Nathan understands the value of entertainment. Indeed, I'm a YouTuber. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter in the end because you're pretty, pretty tied down baller. So that does reveal at least some the background motivation. I've yeah, never I asked him, actually. Are you a baller? Going. Do you believe in the ball earth, Alan? The thing is, Nathan, I struggle to get out of bed these days, so worrying what shape the earth is is, um, is not top of the list. Then why do you actually come in the Hangout panel on Flat Earth Debates? I, I, I like talking to you guys. I, and nice. I'm lonely. Okay. Fair enough. That is weird. Being a pensioner is no fun. But you must have a vague interest in the shape of the earth because this is obviously you've got plenty of other hangouts that could you know you could exercise the social aspects elsewhere but you pick this one so i'm just interested there must be some aspect of the shape of the earth that fascinates you well i, I like to count the hours that you and riley nathan and riley riley and nathan have yeah. been talking about the same thing 110 <laughs> hours okay. i asked you yesterday did it's you a... incorporate the hours that other people outside of Anthony and Riley uh, spending yeah. it. Oh, although I did watch Rumpus's video. Ooh. There you go. You can add those into the hours too. No. Just, and I'll just count you and the Riley. hours that you Riley, have spent yeah. watching and Anthony and Riley. Seems you've spent quite a long time accumulating the Where's hours Rant watching. Thank Where's you, Ranty? Though. I don't know where Ranty is. He'll probably make an appearance later. <laughs> He's he not here head? right now. You can leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> just, just leave it with the secretary. He'll file it under R. Is Arwen his secretary? No, no. Imaginary secretary that'll file it in an imaginary filing cabinet. I'm a secretary of Skype. Does he have an head like an orange? Ranty? Yes. Well, a head like an orange? really. I didn't think it was orange shaped. Every time Alan gets asked about the shape of the earth, he kind of avoids the answer, in my opinion. Does seem to be the case. A case of oranges in this case. You'd rather talk about people's orange shaped head. How's the powder? How's the powder? Powder. Owen's powder. Horny goat. Oh, powder. Yeah, he's talking about the horny goat weed again. Can't get over that. Look, if you're really thing, so right? depressed that you find feel the need to basically come to the Flat Earth debates just to hang out with us without actually being interested in the Earth's shape, then maybe you should get some of that yourself. Wow. It really I helps. It really fun. helps. Like the, It helps you create testosterone in your body. It's probably something that it is said at an older age, the testosterone production of your own body decreases, but testosterone really does help for your confidence and it helps against depression. So if that is the case, then I would definitely recommend you actually take the alpha power, despite you fe feeling it's really funny. You should get it and you'll probably feel a lot stronger than you have in years. Put some hairs on your chest, Alan. Mm, well, that too, maybe. And you know what they but say with pension. It'll at least give you a, a sense of adventure. Like you'll actually start to feel like, yeah, I am, I want to get out there. I want to meet people. I want to do stuff. I want to try out new things. That's the type of thing that a heightened testosterone will actually do to you, to your mindset. How would you like to pay? How would you like to Maybe pay, Maybe that will help with my bowling. Will help it will definitely. In the morning. Well, you Send your check to www.infowars.com. Yep. Infowarsstore.com alpha power. I highly recommend to, uh, to anyone. Or hit that okay. super chat Including if you've been enjoying the hundreds of hours right you've spent watching it's the Isle of Man info. Men. Okay, I'm just going to make a cup of tea. Put some goat weed in it. <laughs> goat weed tea. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> so, anything new? Anything new? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, after... All of the... Oh, got a new guest. More important than me. How are you doing, Ali? 
Yeah, it's me. All right, how you doing, guys? What's new, how Alan? Doing great. Hi, Alan. How you doing, Mr. B. Arwin? Hey, Ali. Hi, Ali. You worked left out, worked it out yet? Left from right. The earth spinning on a different side. Up and down, up and down. Weren't you going to get some tea? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the same. Hey, don't be rude. Go and get your tea, Alan. Oh, wait a minute, I need to answer it. No, I haven't actually. I'm, I'm going to, if it's all right with me, I'm going to have a hangout later on where I've got a globe and a ring. And I just want people to, you know, show me, and I'll because I, it, it's not, it doesn't. I, I, it doesn't compute, does it? It doesn't compute what what I'm seeing with what what I'm the way that I'm doing it with the globe and the ring. I'm looking at it, and I'll be looking at it, and I can't see. There's only one way I can get it to come from the other side up past the moon. At the moment, I might be missing something. So, like. As I say, I'll be having a hangout in a few hours. I tell you what, Ali, I'm glad you don't direct traffic. Because it's uh, what do you call it? No, I, 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 no, no. I keep myself to myself. I don't, I don't uh, encroach in other people's rights. It's not for me to run about and tell people what to do. So no, I, that that's immaterial from my left and my right. So, but thanks for being concerned about your fellow uh, people. You oh, seem like a nice man. Maybe just day, we're all nice guys. Maybe all one day you can come nice. and do my garden. Yeah, what 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 size of garden you got? Um, it's probably twenty four yards by thirty. It, it needs some attention. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm coming across to Britain in the the summer, so I might pop by and have a look at it for you. You'd be most welcome in Leeds. Where, where are you Leeds? Yeah, my mate went to Leeds University. Ah, it's, it's a one. great city. Well, he loved it. He had the choice. He had the choice. He actually chose Leeds, and he, I think he actually. And this is going back like oh, 30, 30 years ago. Uh, I think he's still down there. I think he actually just stayed. He, I think he just stayed. He didn't leave. <laughs> so, yeah, but a good, uh, a good um, rugby league team. I used to follow them. I used to follow the rugby league. Are you a rugby fan, Alan? No. No, you're not in the sports. Not what, what, shape balls doesn't interest me. No, what, what, what was you actually? You said you retired. What did you do before you retired? What was your or, or what was your first ever job? There's a good one. What's your, what was your first ever job? I, I was an office clerk. All right, okay. What what kind of what was that? Accountancy, or accountant or whatever. Yes, yeah, doing what? accounts, the books, booking, timing, finances, things like that. How long were you working there for? I, I mean, how many years was um, it? One year, and then I went back to college to study writing. I didn't want to waste my life doing something I didn't enjoy. Okay, that's good. That's smart. And did you achieve it? Did you actually end up making a good living out of it? You know, yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't say good living, but I, I, I was comfortable and I enjoyed what I was doing. Are you, are you happy with the choice you made then, yeah? Oh, yes. Yes, very happy. much so. And you were just talking about it's getting quite hard for pensioners over in Britain. Are you really are you really retired yet? Yes, yes. I, um, no, I, okay. I, I can't shop at Marks and Spencers anymore. I um I have to shop at Aldi and, and budget places like that. Oh, because the old Marks and Spencers food was good. I used to shop there myself. Their, their, their sandwiches were top notch. <laughs> yes, qual, 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 quality material. Uh, was it? I actually done. Um, I got a job. When I was living in London, I got a job actually delivering for Marks and Spencers. And the funny thing was, right, is sometimes we didn't have enough of the lot. They had to, they were, the the place I was working at was just up uh, on the North Circular, and they had like about a hundred of these lorries, you know, and a huge place it was. But sometimes we never had it, you know, some were in for repair, so we had to hire one. So you'd get a white lorry, and see the amount of complaints. Or, or when you'd go to deliver the the fridge, or because we used to deliver everything, sofas and everything, uh, the customer would always they'd always complain. They'd phone up the office and say, "Why didn't the Marks and Spencers van?" Because they they liked the fact 
the, the big green van with oh sorry that was john lewis sorry ah, yeah that that's, that's because sorry. the neighbors won't see the posh van coming up yeah that was it but that was john lewis that wasn't a uh, max spencer sorry i i got i got a bit confused there yeah well, it was john lewis i worked for but yeah just the same kind of uh, snobbery that, that kind of goes on so so you're now shopping at aldi unfortunately i won't be up yeah so what's your biggest complaint about being a pensioner then? Too much time on my hands, pretty much like Nathan and Riley. Nothing to have do. Have you got a hobby or anything then? Don't you have a hobby uh, or something? I do bingo and bowls. Not enough hours in the day, mate. Don't know what you think if you think I've got time on my hands. Not enough hours in the day. <laughs> yeah, he's a young father. Come on. He's a what? when you have time. Uh, time's in short supply when you're a young father, so... And it is quite a bit of work, you know, getting a hangout going and, you know, trying to get everything organised and stuff like that. It's not. Do you know what happened today? Somebody sent me a gift in the post, it's an anonymous gift, right? So there's a company that makes a product called a Stream Deck, Olgato Stream Deck. And it's something that I've wanted, but I've always said, ah, oh, I don't want it because I can't afford it, bottom line. So I've never bought one. And then a random stranger has sent me one in the post. <laughs> oh, wow. Just Not a random nice. gift worth about 150 quid just arrived today with a note saying, um, basically, from your fratter friends, something that will improve your live streams, hopefully prevent you getting poor bombed. If you ever stop streaming, please rebox it and send it on to another flat earther who does streaming. And I read it and I was like, huh. what? I <laughs> just completely lost for words. The kindness of somebody in flat earth. I don't know who. Yeah. Sent me anonymously. I want to say, hang on. Hey Nathan, it could be a baller. Could be a bomb. Could blow up when a plane hits the <laughs> USB. Uh, well, you'd find out <laughs> quickly, but... No, it's brand new sealed. Somebody's gone out and actually ordered and paid for a, a stream deck and then sent it to me with a note saying, hope this improves your streams. You're like, wow. Have Mindless you uh, plugged it in yet? It's amazing. To test it out? I, I only got it literally before, like, 20 minutes before I started this um, hangout. I just, you know, okay. postman came. Well, in that case, it's not a bomb. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Hey, yeah, donkey, yeah. how are you doing? Hello. Well, hey, I'm just going to say hello <laughs> that case, it's not before I get booed. No. Turn up your live stream. Uh, Make sure you mute sound. the page you're watching. Hello. Yeah, that's better. Good to have you here, you donkey. Hello. So what can we do for you, my friend? Say again? Uh, hello. Hello. We can hear you. And what can we do for you, Mark? Yeah. Oh, Daddy is Say again? Uh, hello. You, hello. We can hear I'm just going to pop you on mute, really? you donkey. And what can we do for you, yeah. Mark? Your, Please put watch, your, uh, your YouTube uh, stream on mute. The page that you've joined echoing. from needs to be muted, my friend. And then once you have, just come, uh, pop yourself off mute, wave your mouse over the page and click mute. There you go. God. Still, Jeremy is going nuts. All right, let me see. Um, what the hell is Yeah, it's only 10 degrees of the rising, but I guess... Okay, goodbye. Okay, he was playing another video. Yeah, no worries. Try again tomorrow, figure out how to use the mute button. Hmm. He was just trolling us. He was playing another video. I think so. Yes, he was trolling us, wasn't he, my dear? <laughs> so, Alan... What's your views on the shape of the earth, my friend? Well, from my position and my background and my schooling, I, I, I would say it's very much round. round. Round? Do you want to be a bit more precise? Spherical, Do I need to maybe? be more precise? Pardon? Do I need to be more precise? Yes. Well, round pizzas are round. Flat. A ring is round. It's a sphere. This disc is Spherical. round. Circle is round, the sphere is round. So based on your the did you pillar is round. Hey, hey. Things are round. Hey Arwen, this is not play school. So What's you said based on your base? Well, I just explained to you why we want you to be more specific. No, he did say he did he did say spherical. Thank you, Riley. So uh, based on your what what was your reasoning? Based on your schooling, did you say? Yes. So what kind of... Hang on. 
You can't even explain how the sun goes down. <laughs> yes, I can. Go for it, Arwen. Well, it's holographic. Holographic. So it's going to go right in the ground at the edge of your vision. And um, what what's being used to broadcast the holograph? It's part of this this physical realm. It's probably a side effect. That's the that, electromagnetics. That's a, vague, that's a bit vague. Yeah, it is. How do you sleep at night? Just keeping it real. But that's and realizing that things are not as literal and convenient as our psyche would like them to be. But you just you erased. It's up. just like Santa Claus. It's a really nice idea that he's there. But yeah, the reality is a slightly more complex and more disappointing, including lies and deception. So and you're that's just how things really sun. are. And that includes Santa Claus. the ball. You're comparing the sun with Santa Claus. Well, what we think or what we would like the sun to be, what is the easiest for us to imagine it to be, tends to migrate towards the heliocentric cosmology. Because that's very literal, it's very visual, it's very easy to imagine. So that's more convenient to our psyche. But the reality is, is well, what we can measure is that it's probably holographic because you can't, can't approach it. No matter what you do, it's always, it always moves away from you as you go towards it. And that includes the stars. As you go up, it just disappears. So one can only honestly conclude that they are purely light-based and its Arwen, origins Arwen. elude us. Arwen, I think you say the words, the right words, but not necessarily in the right order. Well, yeah, you can blame uh, that I'm not actually English, though, so, for that. Oh, you're not English? Nope, Dutch. Ah, hoop! But you do, you... It, you, you say things, they're not in the right order. It's, it's just stuff. No. It's just details. It's just how it works. So Perception is a, is a big thing. So if the sun's a hologram, where's the projector? Uh, well, there's different ways that could be approached. But I am pr I've become more and more sh certain that it's literally in the eye of the beholder, is that all observing things as part of the design of this realm, all things that observe will see the holographic bodies at the edge of its vision, whether it be an eye in a living being or a camera, any type of thing, as soon as optics come in, things that can see will see the holographic globe of the heavens. Sounds like rubbish to me. Yeah, of course it does. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> no. That thing sounds rubbish to us, doesn't make it not real. You're entitled to believe what you want. Oh, I'm glad you think that. There's a lot of people that would disagree with you. A lot of people think that we're not entitled to believe what we want. You can. It amuses me. Hmm. It amuses me what you believe. So let's talk about evidence. What evidence have you got? Oh, no, not the smudge. No. What what evidence have you got that we're rotating? Um, well, let's look at the sun and the moon. There you go. Um, Polaris. Yeah. Can you explain that? Yeah. Very hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So when you say the sun and the moon and Polaris, what can you tell us about the sun and the moon and Polaris that makes me believe that we are rotating? Well, how do they work on a flat Earth model? They would. That isn't the question. The question is how. No, how no, can no, you no, 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 but he can ask that question. I just explained it to you. You did. You did. You think it's ridiculous, but that works really well on a flat plane. Holographic globe at the edge of vision. Yes, but all you can't things. explain where the projector is. It's in your eyes. Your eye is the projector. It's part of optics itself. My eye is the projector of the sun. Yes, in a wow. sense. In the, is a projector is part of a system that it enables this to be seen. I tell you what, Arwin. You're special. I know. Special needs. So, Alan, 
the sun and the moon and Polaris. Can you tell me how we can deduce from their movements that we are moving? You you know the answer. Okay. So let's go with the moon. We see that the moon is, you call it, tidally locked. And we see the same face of the moon at all times. Yeah? Correct. If I said to you that that was impossible as the result of a cosmic explosion, how would you, uh, Jazz Condo, are you there? I can hey. take that one step further for you, Ethan. Here's Jazz. Uh, right? Hey, Jazz. You been drinking? Hey, Riley. Let me take on. that one step Jazz, further wait, for wait. you. Jazz Condo, you there? G'day. You hear us, G'day. Jazz? G'day. Oh, we can. Nearly booted you. Got to be quicker than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I was just putting on my headset. Sorry. Yes, yeah, thanks. You're good. Have you been drinking tonight, Jazz Condo? Or are you sober? Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably sober. It's been a festive time, but getting over that. Good, good. So, uh, Alan, go on. You were saying. Riley. Riley and Nathan. Nathan and Riley. Ranty with his round head. Burnt from chemical trails. Let me actually get into that and what you just talked about. Uh, Riley. Okay. Uh, I can take it one step further. Uh, the moon is always visible at the, in the same way. You, Everyone that gazes upon it always sees the absolute front of it. That's the moon face that rotates around its axis perfectly clockwise. And the thing is that if somebody looks on the moon at, uh, for example, the beginning of the night when it just came up and somebody else... 200, 300 miles away, a thousand miles away, sees the moon as it's almost, yeah, almost morning. So it's down. They're go both going to be gazing up upon the as it's almost face of the moon. So it's down. Hellboy, they're go both going to be gazing upon the as it's almost. Hellboy, you turn up the freaking you you mute your it's watch down. page, Hellboy. Stick your mute while your watch page gets muted, Hellboy. Just need to stick it's yourself. Down. It's me as you are not going to get a voice verification on him. Yeah, it's just going to get kicked. Just a freaking troll getting in the way. But the thing is, <clears throat> they're both going to be seeing the exact same angle, the face of the moon, even though they are hundreds or thousands of miles apart. And that's only possible in a hologram. You can't, you can't look upon a ball thousands of miles apart and then see the exact same thing that is physically impossible in every way Owen, you say so much but yet i understand so little oh that's your problem it's just basic reasoning okay all right let's let, let me ask you something now are you familiar hey, with what riley hang on the avon woman's here i just i just need to answer the door thank god for that all hail the Avon lady. Anyone in chat can try to deny what I just declared, but if there's a ball out there and people are going to be looking on this ball thousands of miles apart and you're going to see the exact same face of the moon thousands of miles apart, then it can be a physical object because you can't be looking at the same side of a physical object so, so much apart. It's impossible. So yeah. it cannot be uh, a literal physical ball uh, out there. Oh, and we we don't see the same face of the of the moon. No, you from do. The, no, you don't. Yes, you do. You always see that one side of the moon. This is a generally okay. known fact. Okay, we always see. Nobody the one sees side the of... dark side of the moon. It's never seen ever. Okay, okay, okay. That that is a fact. We always see yeah. the one side of the moon. That's I know. a fact. We see we see up to 8% of the dark side of the moon because the moon takes 28 days to rotate. I'm not talking about around. how much shadow is actually whoa, whoa, whoa. cast I'm over gonna, the front right. side of the moon. I'm only talking about I'm call you on the that. exact facing. Of I'm going to call you on that. One Whatever side. That, got, that we see 8% of the dark side of the moon. I'm going on what I've read. Oh, I read about oh. Fabulous. I read about oh, Fabulous. Snap. And And... Can you 
and you, you, you flat earthers could prove this by coming to the southern hemisphere. Prove I'm, I'm just trying. Eight percent of the other side of the moon. No, that you you see the same face of the moon upside down to yours in the northern hemisphere. It's upside down. Sure, so that's it doesn't not matter. If it's upside down. It's the same face. It's the same exact angle. Just but rotating. Why would? Why it would it be matter upside if it's down rotating the southern around its axis? It's upside down. It's, it's not rotating face. about its equator. It's not rotating about its equator. It's rotating about its north and south poles. If it was rotating about its equator, you would see the same face wherever you were on the flat Earth, but it's not. Okay. So maybe you should come, come no, down south. No, you do. Holiday. You always see the same face facing you. Might be, I might have rotated a bit. Might have been some shadow the same, overcasting as one not, face is due. I went, but it's always the same went, side I'm, that you're looking at, no matter where I'm you not, are on the Earth. I'm not denying that. You're absolutely correct. What I'm saying is it's orientation depending where, where you are in the north and south, is upside down compared to where you are in the north. Yeah, and it doesn't mean anything. How does that not mean anything? Because you're still facing the same axis. You're still facing the same side. doesn't matter if it's upside down. It's a really interesting if, coordinate. If the Earth's it's, flat. Like, it's interesting that it works that way, but you're still facing the same side. Doesn't Darwin, if the Earth's, if the Earth's thousands flat, thousands of miles apart, and you're facing the same side, it cannot be a literal physical object you're looking at. You can be looking Darwin, at the same object. Arwen, if the Earth's flat, and we all put our feet on the southern edge of the disk, and we put our heads to the north, then the moon has to be rotating about its equator, not about its north and south axis, to show the same visible orientation of the same face i'm not denying that and the northern and southern hemispheres it has to be rotating the opposite way that it is on a 90 sure. degrees i don't really care about that of course I just you don't. care about okay. that you're still seeing the same side of the moon thousands of miles apart it can't be a round object it doesn't Prove the Earth's flat. The moon rotates. No, every I know it doesn't days. prove, but it does prove that the moon is not a physical object. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't prove. That, so the shadows on the moon are part of the hologram. Yes. All the globe of the heavens, the sun, the moon, the planets, the stars, all those things out there we see at night, and even in the day, those are holographic. It doesn't have so, anything to do with the shape of the Earth. Earth is physical. It's a different matter. Okay, that's a great belief. But when was the when was the projector invented? Because the moon's been observed since the since 15, creation, fourteen hundreds. So who invented the projector? Why haven't we got much better technology now? I don't know. We're We've been created, we've been designed. It was probably a, a thing that the designer just did. It's part of the design of this world. Are you really certain about that? Yes. I'm not jazz. Sounds crazy. No, hey, it, maybe it can be turned off. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it can be turned off, turn on again. <laughs> yeah it's well if, if why hasn't it been reset what computer do you know that hasn't well, been who restarted? has any in whose advantage would that be to certainly turn it off the, and the, the entire well, created. world the entire world of power has been trying to uphold this globe they're putting well, so much me, effort in upholding this illusion. Why would they turn it off? That would break the entire let, let, let me, uh, spell. Let, let Riley, me, uh, Riley, get this back on track. Is it let, island or not? Let, let, let me just um, address what that was there about the reset question. Now, I'm not saying I agree with Arwin on everything he says. Arwin knows that I don't. We generally fall out when I don't. However, the question about reset, when it comes to the new moon, the moon goes missing for two between two to three days, depending on where you are in the, in the world. Nobody sees the moon. Goes you can. Oh, I, I disagree. You can see a new moon in the sky. No, you can't. Yes, you can. 
when it goes after the before we get to the new moon phase at the end of the, the lunar cycle on the 27.3 day the moon goes missing you, for between you two can and three see days. in broad daylight you can still vaguely see the moon you can oh, see the moon oh, hey, Hal, how you i do? can see it in the sun oh, no, sorry jazz can i just see if hal's got his no, audio he's sorted troll. he's a troll hold on Owen. no hold on hold on I'm not a troll. I'm discussing. Jazz, actual... I'm just trying to establish whether or not the guest that joined earlier that didn't get his mic working has now got his mic working. How are you doing, Hellboy? Or whatever your name is. Hey, what's up, Nathan? Oh. Good to have you here. Thanks for being here. Sorry, Jazz, you, you carry on. Well, has he spoke, Nathan? Yeah, it's all yeah, good. I, did, I, I just know him. It's all good. Oh, it's all right, good. sorry, I didn't. Right, okay. So, um, you're saying that the moon is visible? during the new moon phase is that right it's not completely visible it's not as visible as on a full moon during broad daylight but you can see the an outline of it it's a it's a slightly darker shade of the blue of the sky yeah well, you can before you make outline, it out before you get the outline of it what do you mean it's there you can All see right. it let me rephrase it for, for at least two days after the lunar cycle finishes there is two days Depending on where you are on the on the Earth, sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. But generally, it's two days. Nobody sees any evidence whatsoever of the moon. Okay, I I I, I kind of get where you're going with this, but let's just take the image on this photo that's showing on the screen now. You see, way off on the right hand side, there's clouds on the horizon. Yes. Does that mean that if there's land over there, it's foggy? Probably dirty. Just, yeah. just think about that. The, the clouds on the horizon, so if there's land or there's a boat just over there, does that mean it's foggy there? Can I just ask what you're looking at? Because I'm looking at Oakley Cores. Yeah, sunset. I think that's what he was talking to, but this, the picture's moved on now. Sorry. I'm just looking, Absolutely. I'm, I don't see anything yeah, either. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just looking at what's well, on the screen. Air clarity in the distance is usually just a, a matter of the moist level in the air. Clouds are rather okay. a separation. Uh, hold, hold up a second, though. We, we were let's not change subject. Yeah, let's um, not. Let, let... Right. The assertion is, or the evidence yeah. tells us, that the moon goes missing for at least two days at the end of its cycle. Right. And the question about reset. Mm. No, but even before Riley, even before you change subject. Can we back, get back to the fact of why can't we see the screen that he's trying to show us? Because no, I, I, wasn't, it. I wasn't trying to show you a screen. I was just observing the screen that was on at the time. So oh, to, just forget oh. about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so let's let's address the, uh, the, the reset question because we do know that the moon goes missing for two days at the end of its cycle. Nobody sees the moon anywhere. It doesn't go How missing. It? It, doesn't well, go, it doesn't go missing. What do you mean it goes missing? We can't it's see it. If you can't see it. If you can't see then it is clear. missing. Can you please elaborate on what you at mean end, by it goes missing? At the end of the anymore. lunar cycle, nobody sees the moon for at least two days. It goes that missing. That means it goes missing. That means it goes Sleeping. missing. Yeah. As that if means somebody sleeping. takes the projector light and then resets it and then starts. You can't see it. Sleeping. Yeah. Or does that mean yeah. that you just can't see the sun's rays reflecting off of it? Who's talking at hell? Yeah, I don't. What's your issue, Hellboy? What's What's wrong with saying we can't see it? What's wrong with that? I don't get it. What's wrong with that? We don't. No, it goes no, away no. He didn't say that. He said it's missing. Yeah. Well, hell, okay. hell. And he's correct. It's different. Yeah. You can't see it. Yeah. When things aren't there, you can't see them. You can't see, see the them. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see the dark side. Hold on. We got We got straight up Riley's way of talking. That's the whole point wants to be very specific on how he talks so riley when you say it's missing what do you mean well let's be very specific with how we answer it there yes, is no evidence there is no evidence that there is a moon in the sky for two days okay so it's missing is it gone has it disappeared no it hell where did it go you can put any adjective in there you want to be a pedant the point is there is no moon in the sky for two days how why so where did it go the optics of it are gone. It's holographic. There's no longer anything about it visible. It's gone. Can can I interject just for a second? Because the yeah. the moon being yeah, unobservable by anyone is completely false. No, it's not. It is so, completely false because no, I can. I'm 
I'm here in New Zealand. The moon can go for a day or two when I can still actually see its shadow in the sky, and I okay. can call a friend in Japan and he can see it. Okay. Why is that? So at new moon phase, it's not, it's not completely gone yet. yet. He can see it in Australia. So are you? Hang on, hang on. Are you saying you're the guy that claims that you can see so, the moon? So, 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 Riley, Riley, what do you mean by it disappeared? Well, can you please you can, elaborate? I can, can I can answer that. If it's completely covered it by darkness, you don't see it anymore. You don't just see no, no. a darkened That's moon really out there. Not you don't being see able to any moon. Something. That's the whole point. Not being able Once to it's completely something. darkened, you don't Hold see on. anything. Can you stop anymore? talking over each other? Okay. Disappeared okay. is a very Boys, simple word. One at a time, one at you know, time. You know what appeared means? Well, disappeared means the opposite. It means I, it's not I can, appearing. I can simply not see my nephew hiding behind a chair. Yeah, so he's disappeared. It doesn't mean he's not there. Yes, yeah, he's not appearing anymore. He has disappeared. Even yeah. if he's behind a curtain, no, he's not, not making an appearance. It's not there anymore. You know, we're this not saying that people vanish vanished. into obscurity when they go off stage. It doesn't there, mean that. Right? But they're no okay. longer appearing. They have disappeared. That's the accurate word. What's wrong with it? Tell, tell me what's wrong with the word disappeared in terms Oakley, of what the movie Oakley. Was I talking to you or was I talking to Riley? Yeah, well, but you I'm keep asking the same problem because you've got an objection to an yeah, adjective. Can we, Oakley, can you please let Riley talk? Okay. All right. We can, let's all take three minutes and go outside now. I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, very, very low latitude. Let's all go outside now and see where we, in what direction we can see the moon. No, but that's not my point. My point is at the end of the lunar cycle, the moon what? goes missing. Now you can be a peer, yeah, but Wait. what do you mean by missing? Missing, it's the opposite of being missing. visible. It's very different. Missing means right. it's disappeared. Why do you why do you struggle with my description? Because, because you're, you're saying be very missing. Specific with I'm being word. very specific because he can get <laughs> over the non physicality. But is it is the, is the issue that you're perhaps a little bit ignorant to the fact that I'm making the point that I'm making that the moon does go missing? It doesn't, though. That's not a point. It absolutely goes missing. There is no evidence of the, the moon in the sky the at point, any point. The point, the point right here is You go outside now and see if you can see the moon. Hold on. Uh, not, can't see see, hold on. Jazz is disagreeing. I want to hear this. Can it, sorry, Jazz. You go ahead. How can we see the moon when it's not physically there? You tell me. I'm just saying this is a great observation, live observation right now. I'm going to go out for a quick smoke. I can see the moon quite high up in my into my northeast. I'm 45 degrees south. I can see it quite high up. I'd predict that if you did see the moon in the UK, where you sound like you're from, it would be a very, very slight moon. No, uh, wax wrong. What? Yeah. It's a wax, waxing gibbous at the moment. It's pretty big. Night. But what we're saying what is during the new there, moon, then? Jazz, the new moon, not now. The moon. New the moon. moon. You've got a new moon. Moon. You've got a... You've got a new moon there. It's new moon in two days, though, isn't it? Not now. So you'll have a you'll have a very uh, waning crescent then. Let me let me just double check my my cycle and let's see where we're at. No, don't double check it. Go outside and have a look. You want me to it's go outside and my eyes with the moon? I want you to go outside. I'm going to go have a quick smoke and I will come back in two Give minutes. Give me two minutes. I will go outside. Okay. No, so up, can, I, can I please expand on what he's trying to say? Right? That's right. Waxing gibbous. Just see see checked it. It is you a waxing gibbous. Cannot, we're, you cannot we're see it real world because you cannot see the, the light reflecting back off of it. That's how you it see doesn't things. Mean it's That's how sight there. works. Not seeing light bounce off something is how vision it's, works. It's what are you want about? It doesn't mean it's not there. It just means you can't see the light reflecting off of it so it has no, that disappeared no, it is no mean, longer you appearing. can't see the dark side of it either you don't see anything you don't see the okay, dark side sorry, country. Sorry, sorry. the dark side of it has no, nothing you can see it. the moon don't, don't in the daylight in as well time. you can see the moon in the daylight as well you have to admit this so once it's completely dark okay, and you sorry, don't sorry, see sorry. a black what, ball what, contrasting what, the what air, you just, just don't see anything. anything. That's the whole point. You don't see anything. Okay. You don't see a black yes. ball. Okay. Arwen, I can agree with that. I can agree with that, Arwen. But what does what you just said have to do with anything what we're just talking about? It has everything to do with it. It disappears. How? How? It's no longer there. Exactly? Please explain it to it's me. It's not a physical no thing. Well, and you're means saying that exactly once the darks... Well, will you let me explain it? Once you see the dark side, 
It's not a shadow not that you're looking at. Okay, you're just three right, seconds, at hell. Nothing. Right, if you talk over him again, I'm just going to boot you because you're being ridiculous. You're objecting over, over things that are nonsensical. You gave him three seconds to speak then. So, the whole point is, once the moon becomes darkened, once the the black side of it basically covers it up, you don't see a dark darkened part of the moon which like right before if you still see a very sharp sickle very sharp light of it you still see kind of the darkness the dark side of it contrasting with the rest of the whatever's out there clouds that's kind of interesting but once the shadow completely covers it up and it's not actually a shadow just the dark side covers it up it completely disappears from view there's no dark moon contrasting the back the backdrop there's just nothing Anybody still there? Yeah, I'm still here, are we? It's all good. Right now, Thank you for your explanation. At least you got to the end of it. Anyway, yeah. That's yeah, the whole it. point. Good point. Great point. Great point. It's not a, it's not a physical ball and it's not reflecting the sunlight. That's not what, what it is. Has Jazz gone for some drinks? I think he went for a smoke. Mm -hmm. He should probably stop smoking. And I gotta go, by the way, guys. I uh, have to be at an appointment in 15 minutes, so it's been fun. Uh, good luck trying to figure out uh, everything we've been explaining. Bye, Arwen. Yeah, See Arwen. you later. Thanks for being here. Love you. See you later, Nathan, Ellen. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. Strange boy. Well, I think he, he was trying to tell us that we could see the dark side of the moon. Or something. No, he takes strange powders. He can probably see a lot of things others can't. So, Nathan, is it still um, that we can see? We're not really in agreement on that. I don't think so. Two of the other team think it is, two think it isn't. So we're looking at it. That's the reality. It's not as quick as just saying, no, it isn't, or yes, it is. It's a case of studying it and figuring it out. Oh, dear. Rumpus throws a spanner in the works. Absolutely. Yeah, just, he does. Just me again. Right. I'm back with my observations. And for that, he yes. deserves a lot of credit. So we've been saying for ages, debunk Lagness Lighthouse, debunk the diamond, debunk, you know, it's on a debate channel. And nobody stepped up. Rumpus has. So as much as I can't confirm or disagree or whatever, at this stage, he has, as you phrase it, put a spanner in the works. Good for him. Well done, Rumpus. First one. Don't you feel rather silly? Not at all. I'd rather be right than have Lagness Lighthouse at 150 miles. <clears throat> and uh, at this point, Nathan's not speaking for everyone. Uh, Rumpus's point is considered, but there's not by far from consensus from everybody. Two of us don't agree. Two of us do agree, two of us don't. So what Rumpus has said may well be true. However, there are problems with it. So it's not true to say that Rumpus is correct. Rumpus has made a point and we are considering it. However, there are still problems with it. So there's plenty, you know, plenty of doubt, doubt for us to be chewing over, which is what we're still doing. So... Is there any one Absolute. specific thing? Absolutely. One, sorry, and go ahead. Riley, can you, Riley, can, can, can you please um, help me understand what um, uh, Origin was, was trying to say when we were talking about seeing the dark side of the moon? Because I'm pretty sure we can never see the dark side of the moon. No, um, we can't see the dark side of the moon, ever. Yeah. We don't and even... You, uh... And you was, you was trying to explain how the moon, the moon vanishes. All right. So the the point that um, Jazz Conda said was that we see eight percent of the dark side of the moon, and I asked him what evidence did he have, and he said that he read it, and I said that I'd read about Father Christmas. Now the point is, they say that because of libration, we see eight percent of the other side of the moon, but when you look into libration, 
there is no evidence to support the eight percent because I see right. that it moves, but I don't see that it creates more of the other side of it. So my so question then, is, where did the eight percent come from? How was it made? Ninety-two percent of the moon vanishes then, because if eight percent, I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm really sure how these percentages actually matter because. How? Where does the 8% yeah, no. of the libration value come from? Is it measured in some way, or is it a guesstimate? It's because, it's because of its 28-day lunar, lunar orbit. That's how we get to see either side of it. Hmm. Well, can you prove 28 that, days. Can you prove that the 8% that you claim that we're seeing, the, the effects of libration, can you prove that it is 8% of what we're seeing? Because it appears to me to simply be an effect of lensing. It's not an effect of seeing more of it. Okay. No, 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 but I no, think no, no, no. Can I just, I, can I just talk here just for a second? If you can, but about... can I please my, my question out again? Yeah, uh, my core question sure. was this like, Riley, you had said that the moon vanishes. How could it possibly just vanish and disappear? It can't, I, it can't right? Correct. Yeah. So, why did you say that? I'm, I'm, I'm still baffled. Because it vanishes. Okay. Can you please expand on that? Nobody can see it. Which means there's no sunlight reflecting off of it? Perhaps. Okay. All right. Well, obviously, you're not familiar with the lunar cycle, it would appear. At the end of the cycle, two days go by and no one sees the moon. No one on Earth sees the moon. Nobody on Earth sees the moon. Uh, that's. A complete lie because did you just go out and observe the moon? Okay, do you understand what a lie is? Um, I do, I'm not sure you do. Okay. Because because you said that you're just about to go into a full moon. Did I get that right? Is there a difference between a lie and simply being mistaken? You just you just said that you're about to go into a full moon, right? Yeah, I think so, and then I was gonna check it and then someone said don't. Wax and gibbous. Because why because why? I'm a, bit, a day away from going into a new moon hmm. in the southern hemisphere. Amazing. What's your point? What's your point? Yeah. D that you're going into a new moon. I mean, and, where did uh, it go? Into, into, you're going I mean, into okay. a full moon like in the northern said, hemisphere. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hell, let us let, on speak. Hell, hold on. Hang on. That's the reason. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're going into a full moon in the northern hemisphere. I'm going into a new moon in the southern hemisphere. So how does no one see a new moon? No, no. We're going into a new moon as well. Mm, we're at the end of the moon. No, you're not. I no, think we're not. at the end of the lunar cycle right now. Give me one second. Let me just check where we're at. Wax and gibbous. And then check it for the southern hemisphere as well and see if they both match up. Because yeah, it's so a in very... two days' time, we're in a new moon phase. You're in a new moon phase. Is that right, Nathan? We're in a... waxing gibbous yesterday. Riley, Riley, are you eating? I am. I'm getting terrible mastication in my headphones. I'm very good at masticating. Yeah. Are you good at masticating, Alan? No, those days are over. Full mm, dead, no, dead men yeah. don't fall out. Of testosterone wind. drop. Alan. Hey, are, you in, you are, you a re, are you in a reincarnated Alan Turing, the mastermind of the Enigma machine? We, no, we had this conversation yesterday. Do you not remember? Oh, no, I don't. I've had some drinks. Yeah, did you get me a port? I did, in a 1968 vintage. Yeah. And are you a smoker, Alan? I'm sure no. you are. Only a wise man would not be a smoker. There's nothing wrong with smokers. I smoke. No, they smell. it's terrible. It's a disgusting habit. Filthy, I smoke. It's, it's, disgusting. It's, it's my hobby, and I love doing it. So you know what? Keep your considerations to yourself, because I like doing it. Hey, who put you in charge? I just want to get to the end of Jazz's <laughs> point, though. So what Jazz is saying is, while yep. we go into a full moon phase, he goes into a new moon phase. Therefore, at some stage, according to Jazzaconda, someone has always got eyeballs on the moon. Is that what you're saying, Jazz? Well, no, it, uh, that's not what I'm saying just according to me, uh, according to the Southern Hemisphere. And sure, according sure, to sure. the Northern Hemisphere on, on your side. 
is that have no I, one have ever I summarized no have one I summarized your point the though moon. I just want to know if I've summarized your point correctly or not what I'm saying is that no one never sees no moon everyone always sees the moon at some point in the northern right. hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and that fact is wrong now if you have a wrong fact that doesn't by ne by definition make you a liar it just means that you're mistaken no so Riley, I think he's saying the same thing so, we are he's basically so saying you don't see the moon you just don't see the sunlight reflecting back off of it yeah and i just said earlier that's how you see things that's what vision is so if you can't see it because there's no light reflecting off it you can't see it that's what not right. seeing it mm. is but and but, but let's point. say and that was my point oakley was that it doesn't just vanish so what you're saying is you've used 20 words to say that light reflects off it and that that means you can see it and then when you don't oh. have light reflecting off it you can't see it okay. well that's the same way of saying okay. it's not appearing oakley my initial point was this right don't say the moon is vanishing why not it's not it's perfectly acceptable explanation it's, it's a perfectly it's acceptable adjective seeing, what's your objection to it saying it disappears the, one minute it's the there and can be seen it is appearing the next it is disappeared because it is no longer appearing it's a perfectly acceptable adjective yeah yeah but nathan if you take that's a very different statement to the moon vanishing take take the prime meridian and in zero degrees latitude at the equator off that if you go around um 90 degrees then at the prime meridian, you say there's a full moon at the prime meridian, 90 degrees is going to be a half moon. 90 degrees round, 180, it's a new moon. All right. Jazz. That can't happen on a flat Earth. Jazz, let me ask. Let's go back to my statement where the moon goes missing for two days. Nobody sees Which is, the moon. It's not missing. Which is not a statement. It's a... It's a belief of yours. Everyone, no, it's an assertion. Not, not everyone okay. can see the moon. Not correct. That, so that, Riley, I agree. If, if, if missing, where did it go? Right. Seventy-five right, percent of the world can see the moon at one phase or another at any time. No, a hundred percent can't see it. That isn't true. That is not true. When we get, how to do the you moon... come up with that? Please tell me. Right, I'm trying to, but you keep interrupting me. So let me speak, and then you can respond after I finish speaking, okay? Try and avoid interrupting. When we get to the new moon phase, the pleasures. when we get to the new moon phase, nobody in the Earth, anywhere on the Earth, including Australia, sees the new moon. When, so when we're at new moon, you guys will not see the moon for two or three days. That's the way it is. Now, if you don't agree with that, wait till the next time the cycle comes around. It's in 15 days' time, because we're coming up to, to full moon. But when we get to that next for, um, 12 or 13 days, we can come back online and we can say, right, we're coming back up to the new moon cycle. And then we'll say, that we're now at new moon. We see no moon. And if we can't see it in the sky, that means you must see it because that's the other side of the earth. Okay, right? well, Riley, that's Riley. That's exactly you, what we're observing right now. But we're changing not moon. your perspective on this because wait, you wait, 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 oh, saying it vanishes. It just Stop. goes away. At the minute, I'm talking to Jazz, so don't don't interrupt. At the moment, Jazz, we're not at new moon. We're at full moon. Right? It doesn't matter what point you are. Yeah, it does. Because it's only no, it doesn't. At new moon, Jazz. Are you listening? It has to be at new moon. Okay. I, I, well, it doesn't actually matter, because whatever point you are, it's the complete opposite on the other side of the flat disk in the southern hemisphere all right but I, it's not I, i'll reassert my assertion and you can you mean you can do it okay when in in 14 days time we're going to be knocking on the door of new moon when that moon goes missing for us you will not see it either so you can prove uh, that. no 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 we, don't, we, don't we will see it. it'll be a full moon here so we'll yeah, prove tomorrow's we'll a full moon. if i'm wrong then we'll we'll deal with it online and you can prove that i'm wrong but when we're at I'm new not. moon, nobody See, anywhere in the earth sees it. It goes missing. That is moon. a crazy assumption. 
No, it's an assumption. It, it's it's an observable, repeatable fact that we can test. It's not an observable, repeatable fact, my man, because you can call anyone, call call a random company in New Zealand tomorrow afternoon in six hours, and ask what they see. Tomorrow afternoon, I would agree. I'm talking. Hey, Jazz, specific. Jazz, you should put that on with Riley. New Moon, no other, <laughs> no other phase, just New Moon. Do you understand? I do understand because a new moon for you is a full moon on this side of the flat disk. Is so you have no problem finding it then, will you? So a half waning moon for you is a half waxing moon on this side. Okay. So in it's four rocket science. So in fourteen days' time, we should see. We'll be back at new moon. I can tell you that you will not be able to find it in your sky whilst we don't have it. Really? Yeah. Yes, I'm afraid Riley is correct. Can I just read off what it says on, what's it called, Lunar Abundance? This may No, no, off. hold hold on, I totally disagree with this. I just want to read out what it says, bear with me a second. Uh, this may seem obvious to some, but given I live in Australia, one of the questions I am asked at least once a week is whether or not those you of you in the Northern Hemisphere Australia. can follow you? the lunar practice in real time. <laughs> Sorry, Jazz, can you stop breathing down your mic? In Sorry, other words... In other words, do all of us have a full moon and moon phases peaking at the same time? The answer, yes. The moon, of course, orbits the Earth and turns and orbits the sun. The peak of the full moon, when it, the moon is opposite the sun, 180 degrees away. Therefore, the full moon and other moon phases occur at the same time, regardless of where you are located on Earth. So why, so then, Oakley, why can nobody in England see tomorrow's um, major um, occurrence that's happening with the Red Moon? Are you we asking me why we can't see into the future? That is possibly the most ridiculous that's question tomorrow. I've ever been asked. No, tomorrow we're going to have a Red Moon. <laughs> and that's basically going to be an eclipse. Where did you read it from, Nathan? Which kind of eclipse? Sorry, that was from LunarAbundance.com, Jazz. And just to point out that you are so incorrect as to be laughable. Okay, that's fine. That's Not great. fine. Ridiculous. You've made so, so many assertions. Does. I just want to point out that, I've, like I've, you have called Anthony, you are in fact a liar based myself. on your own standards, Jazz. You're a liar, aren't you, Jazz, based on your standards? I was going to ask. I was going to ask if Jazz would be kind enough to retract the comment where he said I was a liar. Well, let's, I, I will, let's label well, him a liar by his own standards. Jazz has comments. lied to everybody. He's a complete liar. Aren't you, Jazz? Nathan, he's just retracted his, his comment about me. I've retracted all my comments. All right? You've proven me to be a liar. I was going off what I've read in my education. No, that sure. doesn't make you so a liar. You that makes you point. mistaken so and incorrect. That's not you lying. It doesn't make me a liar. That makes no, it me doesn't. indoctrinated, right? Yeah, well, I don't know about that either. Between... It's just incorrect. You're just incorrect. That's fine. We all make mistakes. Yeah, there's a difference okay. between a liar and just being wrong. And that was my point. Now, what I'm going to say to you, Jazz, is we can test it and we can prove to your satisfaction that it's true. When we get to New Moon, you will also not see the moon because we're at New Moon phase. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. But why is it then that the what we're going to be able to see in, in America? Yeah. On on January 31st, you guys cannot see in England. How is that possible? Right, that's a different point. But let's and finish the new moon point first. We can come back to that lunar eclipse in a minute. No, no, it has, it has absolutely everything to do with the same reasoning behind the no, no. angles no, no, it doesn't. vision of the moon. It does. Absolutely does. No, right, okay. I, I, if, if it does, then... I'm just going to go and have a quick question. No, no, I, I, I want to keep this back on point. Sorry. Hold on, hold really on, hold on, Jazz. Jazz, 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 Jazz. Hold on. So the question started with, why does the moon disappear? Your objection was, well, it doesn't disappear in the Southern Hemisphere. We get a, a full moon when you guys have a new moon. Well, that's incorrect. It does actually, in fact, disappear. Nobody gets to see it for about two days. So that's now back on that track now. We're back yes. on that. Now the okay. question: Do you guys the, really think the moon just disappears? It just goes. Yes, away. it does disappear. You idiot! How many times do we have to tell you this? Yes, it away. does disappear. 
It just goes away. But right, like, but let's let's, let's like, interpret the word disappear in this context, right? There is no evidence but, of a moon in the sky for anybody on the Earth. Sleeping. I, I just want to just to go back to what you were saying before about the moon disappearing. Um, I called you an idiot. I'm very very sorry about that. Um, I come up with some come up with some crap that I thought I knew. Um, I was proven wrong, but at the same time, um, I'm going to go out and observe the moon for myself right now. I'll be a couple of minutes and I'll be back. Hey, guys, so, guys, get some... hey, guys, guys, you know, can I just say one thing though? I love how Jazz said, "I'm sorry for calling you an idiot." Um, the same way that you just called me an idiot, Mr. Oakley. Yeah, the difference is he was an idiot and you are an idiot. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's okay, no go. worries. Nathan I'm not going to retract rude. something that's true. You are in fact an idiot. The, okay. the moon no, does I in just, fact I disappear. Just how you just didn't understand that. Saw that you didn't a, understand that the moon made, disappears uh, and you were arguing that point, which makes you he an idiot. Something, he said Sorry. something which he probably said out of haste or haste and he apologised for okay, it. Okay, do you understand that the moon was, disappears? That was very nice of him. That was very that? nice of it. Do you understand very that now nice that the moon indeed. disappears? Does the moon appear or disappear during that period? Do you understand that or not? No, but my deal is just this, right? If the moon disappears, where does it go? No, not if. It does. Do you accept it, yes or no? If it's I had two moons in my head. It doesn't hand, disappear. How many moons do I have? It doesn't disappear. Yes, it does, visible. Alan. We've if established I have two that. moons in it my head. It disappears. Hand. For How a period of time, for everyone, that's what happens. Do you it not accept disappear. that either, Alan? Sorry, Alan. Do you not accept that? No, it's just not visible. Sorry, you're not, not chair, physical. You're not visible. What kind of nonsense is this? Sorry, you not physical doesn't sound like an adjective I understand in this you, example, you Alan. Disappear. Can you explain what you just mean by not visible. physical? All because you cannot be seen Hold doesn't on. mean you're I'm asking not Alan. He's saying we can see it. I think, okay, but it's so, just so not Nathan. physical. When you cover well, your eyes, if he's saying that, you is, eyes, and you cannot see someone, does that mean you're not there just because you covered your eyes? Yeah, but how would you prove that that person is there if you can't see them? But what I'm because it's very, very easy to prove that. And Go on then. your your how question, do you do it? how do you prove something's easy. there that's not there? But but my my deal is this, Nathan. Do you really think I'm stupid? Yes, that's why I called you an idiot. Okay. Rude. That's right. great. Gents, right, let's get back to the main question, right? The point was originally, why does the moon not reset? And I no, said... No, 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 the, the original question was, where does the moon go when it disappears? Well, it, it started from the, the question, where, why does the moon not reset? Yeah, but and where I does said, it go? If it disappears, where does it that, go? That's the point. Where does it go? On the heliocentric model, where does the moon go? It doesn't go anywhere. It stays there, right? No. Yeah, exactly. It does. Right. But my problem is... It doesn't it, just disappear. It doesn't just like... Wait, go wait, 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 wait. wait. If, a level of um, n like non-existence just because you can't see it. Yeah. But if the question becomes, if on the heliocentric model, the moon is still there, by our own eyes, we cannot see it. How can we do that? Because the sunlight wait, is not reflecting wait, wait, on it. Wait. Let yeah, me finish the question. Okay. Let me finish the question. If on the heliocentric model the moon does not go missing, but we Where see. Where does it go then? Where does it go? But we see that. Riley, it... Riley, Riley. Use the words not visible because that's correct. And then I'll can we restart. talk about Earth shine? Please don't interrupt. Let me get my question out. And then you, you can. You've got to tell us where it goes. On the heliocentric model... Yeah, but where does it go? That's what I'm asking right. you. Does the Hell, you've asked where? the same thing, exactly. interrupting him about five times. Where does it go? Where does it go? You. Right, you Hellboy, is your question... question Hellboy, with Hellboy, hello. Question. Is your question, where does it go? Because I've heard you say it a few times. Question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nathan. I'm very stupid. Yes, so I, I know that. I understand that. I'm now trying to clarify why you keep asking the same thing as an interruption five times. So you're right, asking, where boy. does it go? Right, I've muted you so I can speak. Please no, let don't me answer mute my him. question. Get to the end don't of my mute point, people, Hellboy. please. And then I want you to answer it. On the heliocentric model, the moon physically does not change its position. Okay? It's always in the sky at some point. We should always see it. 
Now, they argue that there's a lunar eclipse and therefore we don't see it, but we still see it in the lunar eclipse. Now, on the heliocentric model, the moon does not disappear. In the real world, with our own eyes, we see the moon no longer visible or disappear. Okay, that is what we see. We see that the moon fades to nothing. It's as if it runs out of fuel. My question, <laughs> my question if the moon is still there, runs and, we out of fuel. and we don't have any other senses to perceive its presence there, how do we know it's still there? Let's talk about Ireland. Okay, so the the reason you know it's still there is the same reason when Nathan is not talking right now and is behind his shadow of an existence. You still know he's there even though he's not talking, don't you? Okay, so let's go with the, presu the presumption that it is physically still there. Is, is Nathan still here or is he not here? Philosophical question. Look up Schrodinger's well, cat. Well, he's not talking. No, hold on. Schrodinger's hold on. cat. Not Look it up. We can't Hellboy. hear Nathan talk. Hellboy. Nathan, you just filed it. Nathan, Hellboy. you just... Just listen a sec. If the moon is still there... Nathan. Nathan. But Nathan, you just spoiled it all, man. Hellboy, listen. If the moon is physically still there on the heliocentric model, why is it not Look, reflecting if light? I can't, if I see, can't see Nathan and I can't hear Nathan, then what proof do I have that Nathan exists? It's a philosophical question answered in an experiment called Schrodinger's Cat. Go look it up. Can I very quickly talk about, I just went and observed the moon just one more time. I just want to confirm your observation of your moon in the northern hemisphere. Sorry, say that again. I just went out and had a look at my moon. I'm one day away from having a a full moon. What's your moon doing in same. the Waxing northern gibbous. hemisphere? We get the same everywhere. Waxing gibbous. That's probably the sixth time I've said it. So you, you... Hey, Jazz. Our moon's hiding behind the Isle of Man. Funny how, <laughs> funny how you now want to talk about the Isle of Man, Alan. I thought you'd yeah. said we'd had too many hours like, on it. Now you're bringing it back Nathan, up. Amazing. Nathan, Incredible, really. Nathan, Seems you're Nathan, addicted to it. Nathan. Nathan. Now if you're you interrupting me enough, with my name over and over again while I point out that you're bringing up something you've told us specifically not to talk about. You asked us kindly if we'd stop talking about it. I said no. Now you're bringing it up. Interesting, wouldn't you say? It's an open debate. Yeah. So no, but I, it whatever I, you like. I was completely right. If you look hard enough at the Isle of Man, you can see Scotland. And if you look, if you look to the left of the Isle of Man, you look really hard, you can see Pete Shea. <laughs> That's Nick's joke. Kudos, Nick, in the chat. First no, funny but thing he's ever said. no, he's absolutely right. Because what he actually means by that is if you look really hard, you can actually see Iceland. So is it okay for him not to be very clear and precise with his words, but it's not for me? No, but how, how can you see Ireland and not Iceland? Right, let's go back to the okay. moon. Can we finish on the moon point? C can we? Wait, where's I, I Iceland? Have... Did Iceland disappear? Where did Iceland go? Where did Iceland go? Like, I'm, I'm pretty hey, boy, sure. Can, if you, can I ask a question about the you, moon? Just real quick. If, if you can see, if you can see Ireland, you should be able to see Iceland. Two. I just have a real quick question. I was proven wrong about the moon phases. I get that. It's cool. Um, I do have a question about the about the moon though if the earth's flat and the moon and the sun are three thousand miles away is that what we're all thinking no. not really but for the sake of argument you go ahead with your point no i well that that's just my question is that i can see the moon from the west coast of new zealand rise above the horizon or descend above it sorry but i can't see three thousand miles away I can see the moon perfectly rise above the horizon, but I can't see the lights of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Are the lights of the Sydney Harbour Bridge What's... equivalent size to the moon, would you say? Uh, no, but I should be out if I can see that far. So would you say that the I should size, able... the angular size of the lights on the bridge are smaller than the moon? Yes or no? Well, at the same point that the moon would be, say, the middle of the moon is behind the exact middle of those lights on the Sydney Harbour Bridge, then I should be able to see them. 
you understand what angular size is in terms of things that can be resolved yeah. by your eye based on their physical size do you understand that principle yeah yeah i do so right. that's why i'm saying if i can see the moon and i can see stars thousands of light years behind that why can't i see the lights of the sydney harbour bridge that are much the much half small, the distance away the well, how, how do you know that stars yeah, smaller. That makes a very good point and that's exactly why i was asking bigger. you um riley like when the moon disappears where does it go so can we just get that's, to the end of Jazak Jazakonda's point? So do you understand that the moon is physically bigger than those things that you're comparing it with? I do understand that the moon's physically bigger than those things I'm comparing it with, but if how far are the stars away past that? We can see stars past Sorry, that. Sorry, you just compared it to the bridge at Sydney, and now you're Which comparing it to the stars. So if we can just get to the end of this single point. So do you, you understand that the moon is physically larger, therefore easier to see? than the bridge absolutely but stars right, are much there's your answer the so there's there's your answer the Jazz. Bridge. sorry there's your answer so now do you want to make a comparison between the stars and the moon instead because there's your answer to that question that still does not explain well, not, where the not, moon not went. really no where, where did the moon go where did it go where did, did the moon was there, go was there a second when part to your question jazz no no you just didn't really answer it, but that's cool. I've got to go anyway, but um, thanks for having me. And, okay, um, I'll, answer it. I'll answer it again. The moon is physically larger than the lights on the bridge. That's why you can see the moon at a greater distance. I know that, but how? why would there be lights, as in stars, less visible than lights on the Sydney Harbour Bridge be visible <laughs> past the So past do, the do you understand that the stars in your model are considerably larger than the bulbs on the bridge. Yes, but much dimmer than the lights that are closer. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, I think this conversation's over, Jazz. Thank you very much, though. Jazz, get the drinks tomorrow. Yeah, Alan, I'm not sure what team you play for, but Alan Turing, good evening. Pleasure, Jazz. Thank you for coming. Really nice to have you, as always. Crazy. Yeah. I'm still very confused as to like where the moon went. We know. We know. We know how confused you are. Like, okay, so if the moon just disappeared, it doesn't disappear. It's just not visible. Same thing. Is there a difference between disappearing and not visible? No. Yes. Tell Absolutely. Us. Tell us what the difference is. All right. So here's the thing, though. On the heliocentric model, the moon doesn't go anywhere, right? No, I mean, it doesn't disappear. Well, on the heliocentric like centric model, the moon is physically present. Okay, so in your model, the moon just, like, vanishes? It goes away? No. Where does it, it go? No, no, listen, listen. In the heliocentric model, the moon does not go anywhere. It's still in the sky, correct? No, no, but in your model, it just disappears. Forget my model. We're talking about your model. In the heliocentric yeah, model, the moon is physically it in the sky. Because there's no sunlight reflecting off of it. Hellboy, it's a yes or a no. On your model, the heliocentric model, do you agree that the moon does not go anywhere? It's still in the sky. Absolutely. Right. So it is a fact that at new moon, we cannot see it for a period of around about two days. Not, uh, yeah, two days. Some people get it a little bit less. Some people get it a little bit more. But, Nobody but, sees the moon. Yes, I understand. I understand. But the right. question so, is this. So the question becomes. Is, my question. Wait, wait, wait. Where does it go when it disappears? Where does it go? That, that's my question to you as a heliocentric yeah, where person. Where does it go? Where does it go? I can't That's my question to you, sir. That That's my question to you. Where is it? In in the heliocentric model, you can't see it because the sun's not reflecting any light off of it. Right. But Earthshine in your model thing. disappeared. And where Earth, did it go? Earthshine is supposed to be a thing. The hiding? So Where's sound, the hiding? Soundly where is the hiding? only Soundly is the only guy. Is it hiding behind? Can you stop interrupting? Where's it hiding? What, what, what can it be hiding behind? Sound. There's not much out there for it to hide behind. Where can it go? Soundly is the only Again, guy. I'm very stupid. Like Nathan just, um, again, <sighs> like uh, seven uh, times right, um, listen, reiterated. I'm extremely stupid. 
explain How this to me in are you, are you intentionally interrupting where me? Did the moon go? Where did the moon go? The moon. Oh, Riley seems to have disappeared. Just like the moon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it was hiding somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. Yeah, so it's probably hiding in um, Riley's fish and chip paper. <laughs> oh, well. or, or, or a pizza box. They've, well, gone very, they've gone very quiet about Ireland, haven't they, Hellboy? I wonder yeah. what they're hiding. No. Well, I think, I think the problem is this, is that I think me and you, we both had the same inclination that it wasn't an island that they're seeing, it's Iceland. No, it's not Iceland. It must be Iceland. Where's Iceland gone then? can't just disappear like it's the moon. Just, it's just the Isle of Man. Yeah, but if you can see Ireland, you must be able to see Iceland. Hi, Lottie. How are you doing? Good to have you. Can you hear us? What's up, homies? Good to see you. Hi, Mr. Lottie. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, Alan. Apparently, I'm you, so... You're me? Uh, yeah, I'm um, a guy called Matthew Harbury, who pretends to be Lottie, who pretends oh. to be Alan B, apparently, which is good. Well, you have a beard and no hair. Well, me it's and true. Alan... Lottie, me and Alan, we had a very deep conversation one day about being able to see Iceland. Yeah, I, I can see Iceland from St. Bees. And I agree. I think you should be able to see Iceland from St. Bees. We do. No, um, unless somebody I can... If I, if I say we see Iceland, unless somebody proves me wrong, it's the truth. Oh. So then I think everybody's wrong because that's not Ireland you're seeing. It's, it must be Iceland. Let's have a look in chat and see what Multi Tom Tom says. He spends years and hours on YouTube. Let's see what Tom Tom says. I think Alan's right. I think Tom Tom is probably our best go-to expert. Yes, he, he seems to be. Tom Tom, okay, or, that, well. or that vile creature, Ute. Oh, Pube, yeah, Pube, he's great. He he's nasty. Okay, so let's have a little Tom Tom. A look at Tom Tom. Tom Tom's not saying anything. Must be a first time. Well, how, how is this even how is this even relevant if Tom Tom's not here? Mm, I agree. Well, did Tom Tom like maybe he's behind the moon? <laughs> mm. Is is our is is our here? Oh, you says F you Alan. Drop the voice. Oh. No, but you, you remember, remember you. I'm, I'm Alan, and also Matthew. So, go keep your story straight. It's all a conspiracy. I still think Iceland is. Um, if if the moon, the moon must have gone to Iceland. I think. Yes. That's my theory. That's my theory. The moon went to Iceland. It makes sense because if you look at ice and you look at the color of the moon, they're similar colors, which means they, it must have gone there. Maybe that's why the moon is colored like ice. It's like a, a burnt sienna in reverse. Possibly. Possibly. Nathan's not saying much. I bet. I bet he's fallen out with Riley. It's just all noisy, Mac. It's got noisy toys on, that's all. I didn't even catch that. I guess he's lost interest in the show. Riley's not here to run it. Oh well. I guess we best just chat. I'm having... well, it's, a good, it's a good thing that um, we have a moderator here. Because yes. that's Lottie, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm starting to talk like you now. Yes. 
Yes. Oh. Absolutely. Can you say Nathan and Riley? Riley and Nathan. Nathan and Riley. Uh, Oakley. Um, you shouldn't call you... him by his second name. That's that's very much like what they do at school in England. Yeah, it's very British. Um, so, Oakley. Can you, please please help? Can you please help me? Because I'm still lost as where that moon went. A missing moon is not something that we can take lightly. He's given up. Rumpus stuck it to him. Where is Rumpus? He's probably umming and ahhing somewhere. With the wrong windows open or getting his tabs in the wrong order. So I really think that like, if this is not a globe, it must be flat. Who knows? Hellboy, you're, Hellboy, you're supposed to be on our side. Don't say stupid things, please. No, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if it's not a globe, then it must be flat. And therefore, we must be able to see iron. That's called a false dichotomy. There are other options available. Just, just, just don't. Just stop. Okay. Nathan, can you help me out here? Because like, I'm I'm trying to help you out now with with this um, ludicrous. Hellboy, mm. Hellboy. How does it feel to be a content provider? Sucks. Boss. Maybe maybe we could swear Nathan's not here. Oh yeah, we could say like um Nathan, Nathan is a <laughs> bugger all. I wonder how Nathan, how mad Nathan is right now. No, Nathan understands the game. He just sees this as entertainment. He's bored. But he must be a bored, young man. He doesn't believe in it's flat. He just wants to be a TV presenter. I'm still lost. Where would the moon go? I'm still totally lost, guys. Because again, Nathan said, just, just as Nathan said, I'm very, very stupid. And therefore, um, you know, if the moon is black, it must go somewhere. Where does it go? It's probably gone the same place as the um, Isle of Man conversation. Flatter, destroyed, hey, Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us, Flat Earth Destroyed? Oh, the beautiful transvestite hairdresser is here. How are you doing, Arif? Can you hear us? Oh. Hey, Arif. Yeah, okay. Good to have you here. Okay. Is that Origin? Is that Origin, yeah. the wizard? Oh, no, are you no, Origin, no. the wizard? I'm Ar Arif. Are you not Origin, the wizard? No, yeah, that's, the, that's the beautiful hairdresser. Transvestite hairdresser. You're not Origin. Oh. Thanks. Oh, no, someone else. He's oh, where's Origin? Is Origin hiding behind the moon? Uh, well, the moon, uh, if you ask, you know, uh, other flat earthers would be solid, maybe um, probably bowl-shaped, because people do say... Yeah, but you're not, you're not Origin, are you? No, but uh, certain logical uh, assumptions follow. If you see through the moon, then it has to be somewhat hollow. And if only half of it is shown, either it's only half luminous or it's bowl shaped. That's the only shape that would yield a see through moon. You are a complete idiot and, and you're not. Uh, that is half luminous. Hey, we make a. No, 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 origin. We're waiting for origin. I, I don't know if, yeah, if, if you're not origin, can you just be quiet, please? 
Let me see if I can, uh, can't uh, share crap. There are videos online that show different mechanisms with a bowl-shaped moon or whatever, a half-luminous moon that would give all the moon phases and explain what's going on. And as to, you know, the different sides of the moon that you see, uh, you know, upside down, downside up, maybe it's rolling on its electromagnetic track. And then as it goes around the earth, you know, with its uh, bowl shape or whatever. I'm sorry, are you are you in or not? Uh, I, I've already answered that. Uh, that's the, those you are the are origin. You are Wait, origin. Are you, you are origin. Uh, Is that our origin? No. no. <laughs> this is our origin. Uh, origin. origin. I've, I've, I need to ask you a question. Where have you been? Uh, no. Arwen's not here. Arwen left ages ago. You sound That's like you're Arwen. driving. Are you driving while talking? That's yeah. illegal in the UK. That sounds yeah. good. The That's social dangerous. The UK has all of their uh, nanny state laws that don't allow people to live their lives. Government has to tell you to do everything, but luckily, you know, we don't have that here, thank God. Although we're on our way. So. Well, I hope you don't cause an accident and kill somebody. And your yeah, last well. word. Your last words would be on here. Life is full of risk. Intrepid men may take risks to get to a better place, to a higher plateau. Believing in the flat earth and believing in, uh, you know, the flat earth is a risk. But do Are we going to wait for the evil of Danny's data to tell us what to do? Your last words would be, I am not Irish. Don't feed the trolls. So we have approximately half an hour left on this live stream. Hope you're enjoying the debate thus far. If you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it's live and a link in the info box once the video has rendered. If you would like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. Please share the show if you've not done so already as this increases the audience and that in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel so please share the show and one last time if you are new to the channel or you've not done so already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the flat earth debate there is approximately 30 minutes left on this live stream yes yeah. 110 hours oh. hi nathan yeah, Mr. Oakley. Yes, I can um, help do, I, I have just got here, so I'm not trolling. But do you do you not think you're seeing an island anymore? Because that's what I've heard, but I don't know if I'm being trolled. We're looking at it as we speak, so we have not reached a consensus between the four of us in terms of what we are and aren't seeing. No, that sounds like you, exactly. believe anything. You, you had previously reached a consensus that it was definitely island. You actually said this is definitely island. So are, you, are you now not saying that? It may be retracted. As I say, at the moment we're looking at it. No, if no, it is retracted... Don't, I don't want to know maybe. I want to know if it is or not. Well, you have to have some patience. Well, Oakley, what, what is your consensus of it possibly being Iceland? Uh, zero. Why is that? If it's a flat Earth, it must be conceivable that it's Iceland. What part of the world are you from, Alboy? Um, the flat side. What part of the world are you from? Uh, I'm from England. He's from Milton Keynes. Uh, Leamington, actually. Warwickshire. Let's uh, have a Leamington Spa. Correct. Royal Leamington Spa. Yeah. Did they have gravity there? Where I'm, from, where I'm from, we're very stupid here. So we don't have gravity and we don't have um, curvature. So we just believe everything's flat. And with that notion, I believe you're seeing Iceland. So, so sorry, let me just clear up. So Nathan, are you retracting your statement that it's definitely Ireland? No, I've just said that. It may get retracted, depending Sorry. on the conclusion that gets drawn. So, yeah. We haven't drawn so, a conclusion not, yet, Lottie. Not, if it hasn't been retracted as of now, are you still saying it's definitely Ireland? 
No. I think it's Iceland. So, so if you're not saying it's definitely Ireland, then you, you retract the definitely Ireland statement, surely? No. What we've done so far, Lottie. It's all right. Alan will answer for me. It's all right. Alan will answer you for me, Lottie. Nathan, how can you not follow a a logical a logical path here? Ask Alan. If you're not retracting the claim, it means you still stand by the claim, right? Ask Alan. Best. No, no. I'm asking you. Retracted. Yep. You said best proof ever. Definitely Ireland. I want to know if you still stand by that. Lottie. Yeah. Go ahead, Alan. Best proof ever. Retracted. You can okay, hear that from I'm, voice. Oh, I can make a statement in that I regard know, if you like. As as a result of the controversy currently controversy currently being discussed amongst ourselves, I will put my uh, stamp on this flat Earth proof becoming considerably stronger as a result. Let's put it that way, considerably. And and you agree then that they could possibly be Iceland. No, I've said that twice now. But why? Best proof. Uh, Nathan, Nathan Hellboy asked you. Nathan Hellboy asked you why you've ruled out Iceland. Sorry, hello. One, two, one, two. Come in, Nathan. Because it's very plausible. It could be Iceland. Iceland has. Mountain peaks are way higher than Ireland does. And therefore, there's a very high likelihood that it could actually be Iceland. Oh, well, if you're making that assertion, I... then I look forward to your video on the subject, Hal. No, well... I'm, I'm not trying to prove the point. You guys are. No, I'm not trying to prove it's Iceland. I'm not an idiot like you. Oh, well, I would, I would uh, appreciate... Um, being the idiot that I am, that you could possibly take into consideration that, you know, now that you've considered that it's not Ireland, that it could possibly be Iceland. Okay, I'll do that for a moment. Hmm, let's take that into consideration. How does that I've feel? I've taken it into consideration and I still think you're an idiot. How does that feel? How does there that you go. Feel? I still think you're an idiot after taking it into consideration. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Yes, I Nathan, am. Nathan, whoa, just a second, Hellboy. Nathan, remember um, the lessons I taught you about moderating and not abusing your guests and how that would improve your show? And it would also improve the morale of people wanting to come on to your show? I couldn't just care less. All are welcome, Lottie. Nobody has to be here. They can vote with their feet if they don't oh, no, like I know. it. Same no, applies I, as it I, ever has. I chose to be here to aid you Thanks in your, your advice, moderation. Though, Lottie. You I'll, I'll lack disregard lack your advice you out lack, of hand. You have the Thank you. Of a Thank you for your useless advice, which I will be ignoring. Thank you. No, it's not useless, no, Nathan. You have the decorum and you have the decorum and respect of a potato. Well, may, I say, may I say that potato is an extremely rotten potato. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you there. Would you agree? Then, yeah, but... I don't know, Would man. You as long as you idiots come to a consensus that? on it, I'm happy. Yeah, you agree. Alan B wins. It's all over. It's all the Isle of Man. They never well, saw Ireland. Well, it's, it's not about uh, Nathan, our moderator. It's about Flat Earth. So, you know, people are so hungry for the truth. They no, really okay, don't oh, care. Oh. About you oh, know moderating no. or whatever, so you know people are just oh, so no. hyper focused on that. Hey, hey, you know, hey, hey, you buddy, hey, you buddy, hey, you buddy. Let me just explain to you. The 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 moderator has a certain power over how the debate goes, so it does affect what happens here. So that's why we need Nathan to be as professional and respectful as possible. How are you doing, Nettie? Uh, Good to have you here. But you know, if you get, hold, hold on, I mean, Arif, sorry, thing. hold on. We've got a new guest. How are you doing, Nettie? Good to have you here. Hello. You hear us? Can you hear me? Not sure. Can you hear us, Nettie? Hi, uh, hi uh, Neto. Hi, Neto. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Cool. Microphone's up a bit. Good to have you. Yeah, here. big debate. I hear you sparked off here. Hmm. Yes, the world may be flat, the world may be round. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all semantics. We're all arguing about stupidity. What, what's all this about? I mean, why don't we just, like, look at something, all come to a general consensus over it and make, a, make an agreement over the debate? Yeah, Ding man. dong. This is a call out to a sniper on deck. If you could come and save this show from these utter idiots, that would be fantastic. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Nelly, you, you said the, the key word, stupidity, because I'm a very stupid person. So, Nelly, would you, yeah. would, would you agree that um, it's very plausible that we actually seeing Iceland as opposed to Ireland? In those pictures that um you might have seen a bunch of clouds reflecting on the horizon for all i know yeah that's very plausible too could, could be holographic nothing. projections could of things that are, aren't there who knows we don't know who knows very chance it was a very powerful telescope very good, there's a very good chance it's also just isle of man but if you had a very powerful telescope you know like i don't know 90 by a thousand You'd probably be able to zoom in yeah. and have a look at it. Way better than a fucking P900, right? Language? language. Yeah, it's not bigger than a P900. I mean, P900s are they're, they're, they're limited to the digital zoom, aren't they? So, you know, the perspective changes anyway. Shout out Shrumanati. Shrumanati is a shout out for you there. No more. Yeah, it's compressed into the window that the sensor can pick up, which is probably 23 mil. So, you know, it's the... It's the light surface that it picks up. It's all about light surfaces and the amount of area that the light can actually gather across to give you an image. I'm an astrophotographer myself, so I know about these things, you know. The further the distance away from the image, the light takes to reflect back to it. You know, you've got to have a big, big, big mirror to see these things. You know, you just can't see them with these shitty little cameras and that. Don't work. Language. Language. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I do get carried away sometimes. Um... Yeah, so I look at the moon, I can zoom in on the moon, go five times with a, you know, possible eyepiece, and I can see the craters are craters, you know, they look dug out to me, that sort of thing, you know, it's like, how can an impact Sorry. Point, like, two points at the same same time in space at the same time, it's like, wow, you know. Electrical scar. Neto, Neto, yeah, Neto, did you, did you just say the, that the craters aren't craters? No, they're not, they're dug out. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, you can't like call them. something. You can't. You can't call some, something a, cre a crater and then say it's not the same thing. That, that that's retarded. He said okay, it's not an right, impact yeah. crater. So, that's what he actually said, Lottie. A hole in the bloody ground, then, isn't it? So you think you think that the craters on the moon have been dug out by a person? Yeah, by something or someone. Yeah. They're Brilliant. Like Thank out. you for that. That's that's great. Thank you. Electrical Nathan, scarification Nathan, marks. I would call them. What's that? Nathan, what's happened to this show? What, what, what went wrong? I changed the subject. Nathan. It's nothing's gone wrong. Nathan. Subject. Nathan. Absolutely nothing is the answer to that, Alan. Nathan Everything's great. It got infiltrated by Globers. I invited Nathan. them. Nathan's Not infiltrated. Nathan. I've invited Nathan's them. Potato personality. Nathan's potato personality he took over. Um, he was facetious, rude. And he had an intellect of a lamppost, and that's why the show is the way it is. Who cares about him? It's all about the flat earth anyway. Sometimes yeah. emotions stray yeah. and get pulled into that, and, you know, things do fall apart rapidly. At, at the end of the day, you've got to be, like, adult enough and big enough to carry on, you know, and get on with it. It's not the fault. It's not the, it's, it's I, not the bit I, I, that, that falls apart, I, mate. At the end of the day, it's the courage to carry on. Hey, all right. I don't get it. These these Globers have control of the academic institutions in the culture. Why don't they care? Why don't they just, you know, take a look at a different perspective? Why are they so threatened? It makes people think, huh, maybe there's something there. No, we just think you're... Let me just give you, yeah, let me just give you an alternative to that. Oh, bad. Differently to protect what you've already got. Yeah, it's like, I don't know protecting it. It's just you guys are morons and you don't understand. That's it. I'm not trying to be rude. That is actually what the case is. You are retarded and paranoid, and that's it. There's, there's nothing else to it. What are you going to do? Hey, hey Lottie, like, don't be rude. Open mind. Or transvestite hairdresser. You're going to look at Sorry. it with a mind and not look at it with a closed mind. If you're looking at it with a closed mind all the time, you're never going to get anywhere. You've got to look at what if the possibilities. You've got to debate it. You've got to look at it from different angles. You've got to look at it scientifically. You've got to look at it religiously. You've got to look at it from every fucking angle possible. Sorry, no, no, no swearing, Neto. Neto. no swearing, you oh, get. No swearing, please, Neto. Yeah, sorry about that. I do apologize again. 
and no you problem. Know, you can look at yeah, okay, every so conceivable you, angle. You, I agree, it's you've got to look at an open mind, Sorry, but what makes sense is taking the evidence into consideration. So yeah, you can look at it with an open mind and look at all possibilities, but let the evidence guide you where you need to go. Don't just make up random stuff that you don't understand. No, and you've got to but give the evidence is half. The evidence is half of the battle. It's also the worldview that you're willing to adopt or not. Some people won't even go down the flat earth path partially because of their aversion to a creator, a.k.a. God. You know, people's personal prejudices also fit into this. Our atheist flat earthers, too. How are you doing, Warren? Can you hear us? Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Let's say hello to Warren. Hold on. 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 I need to introduce a new guest. Can you shut up? Hello, Warren. How are you doing? Can you hear us? Good. Carry on. I'm just here to listen. Mm. Get down my here, Warren. Technology advances uh, as an exponential Get rate out, is at the moment, like it has in the last 20 years. Boom! And advancing technology has scored so fast so forward, and that's opened us to new possibilities of scientific experiments, given us bigger telescopes, given us different telescopes, not just the ones that you look through, ones that will pick up muons out of the atmosphere and create pictures on screens from data. You know, it's like, all this shit takes time. We're pro slowly progressing towards it. Soon enough, fair enough, we'll find the proof and the evidence. If it's there, it's there. If it isn't, it isn't. But you know? at the same time, hold on, we have CGI artists that are still giving us NASA artistry and all sorts of CGI uh, uh, art and stuff. Why do we have that? Can't we just look through a telescope and be like, hey, this is what Jupiter looks like. We have these artists doing all these advertising flourishes. There's a disconnect there. We have uh, telescopes that are so advanced that can see these things and Hubble up there supposedly, yet uh, uh, we have this disconnect where we have CGI artists doing all this imaginative stuff. What's going on? Is, 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 is there any chance you can stop speaking through your nostrils, please, and use your mouth? That'd be fantastic. I um, started astrophotography in the first okay. place to get to that point where I could take photographs of Jupiter with my own eyes and see it for what it was, and Saturn and the moon and all the other planets that you can see when they come around eventually. You know, you can't see them all at the same bloody time. It's called the um, I don't know, procession of the heavens, where it's got to come round eventually. But if you stay in one spot for long enough, it all does go by. You see it all, you know. You'd have to be jumping around the world to go and see these things. You just stay where you are. Like, you know, hey, Nathan, Nathan. Polaris stays where it is. Polaris Nathan. didn't move. Nathan, how do you feel about all these people, um, so to speak, wrecking your show? This is the show. How many times have I tell you this isn't wrecking the show? The show is Who's working American perfectly, Alan. Who's that American guy with a condescending, Alan. stupid accent? That's the um, famous transvestite hairdresser. Oh, you're transvestite. The troll comes to sow discord. That's an interesting mix of um, ambitious. What you got? No, no, she's a beautiful creature. Right, um, what on a Saturday? On a Saturday? Just on a weekend, like? No, all the time. All oh, right, all the time, right? Yeah, whatever floats your boat, mate. <clears throat> you shouldn't pick well, on it. Well, usually, but you know. Live and let live. Yeah, live and let live, yeah. Live and let die. That was a Bond film or something. Oh, that's rather crude. You sound you sound like a brickie. A brickie, yeah, northerner. Yeah, from the north. From the north, that's me, yeah. Hello. You Hello. let us down. Oh, beautiful Arwen's here. Thank you. At least people hey, what's your point know what now? I look like, so... I don't care where I'm from. I'm from Flaming Planet Earth. If that's the way it is, then that's the way it goes. You can't change that. Hey, I'll raise a long time oh. see. <laughs> hey, hey. I don't think we're from this planet anyway. I think we're from somewhere else, mate. Nobody's yeah. from our planet. We're only Why from we all we travel around and around and around all our lives? We never can find anywhere to, to, to call home. We all come from our mothers. Yeah, obviously we do. You know, that's, that's an obvious thing, isn't it? You know? <laughs> You shouldn't pick on these guys for being different, though. They're quite interesting. Well, difference is what makes the world different. It would it'd be a bit boring place if we're all the same, won't we? All did the same thing. Difference is what the world makes. What makes the world go square? Really. Yeah, it makes it go round. It makes it go flat. It makes it go which any shape you want. It could be a bloody banana stuck out of a monkey's ass for a lacquer. You know, it's like I don't care what shape it is. At the end of the day, we live here. We're on it. We exist. The moment is now. That's all that matters. Fair enough. So, Arwen, why did you come back? Well, he loves it here. 
it's still going, so why not? Welcome back, then. Thank you. All we need now is push. I see Riley's not here anymore. No, he had a rage fit. <laughs> really? Yeah. Him and Nathan have fallen out over the photographs. Okay, I definitely missed something then. Yes. How are you? Nathan doesn't have Shout out to the rig. Shout out to the rig. Hello, Arwajin. Oh, Arwajin. Oh, Arwajin. Oh, hello? Arwajin oh, there. Hello, check one, two. Yeah, can I, you sound like you're in a biscuit tin somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I am. I think Arwajin put me here. Um, Arwajin, are you there? Hello? Back of the box, bro. Arwajin! Oh, I, I think Arwajin's oh, 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 putting it here. Arwajin's putting it here. Get back in your tin can, Cookie. Cookie! <laughs> <laughs> it's probably in one of you, the bottle of your magic powders. Well, this all started um, back in 1990-ish when Matt Powerland stuck a picture out there on the um, YouTube channel and said, this is your Earth. Do you really think it's your Earth? Do you really think it's not just CGI? And backed the Flat Earth Revolution off again from the 1800s. It all started back then. They all started debating about it. There was, oh, you know, all the astronomers when? and all the big wigs and all the the masons. They all got together. All the, all the rest of the people in the world that you know wanted power. So they changed things to do themselves to make people think differently, to make people act differently. That's all it was all about: power, greed. The New World Order was orchestrated in the 1920s. It was put into place and orchestrated. It was done. It's been done. It's there now. We're under a new world order. Do you get it? Well, I mean, if well, you know, global infiltration, yeah, if global infiltration is like this, then you know the flat Earth must be having a real revolution here. The powers that be must be really scared, and you know, having to send out you know their shells to you know delegitimize the movement on mass and stuff. But um, uh, Matt Powerland was basically saying, you know, this CGI representation of Earth didn't come from a telescope. It was made by an artist and and or a CGI animator. And yeah. so, you know, people are like, oh, why does uh, NASA have to kind of fake these pictures? And you know what it's turned into? Is NASA even real? Debate. Is NASA even legitimate? It's a circular debate. It'll go on and on and on, round and round in a circle forever. And, and you can break the circle by showing people um, a non fisheye lens panoramic view of space. You can look at it whichever way you want. Perspective is in the eye of the person that sees it. And with the mechanical device that he puts in front of himself to see it clearer, even more clearer. Now, well, people can, uh, well, people have spiritual discernment and can tell when people are, are lying to him and they can sense the evil energy coming off of this whole thing. And yeah. so they know that they're probably being lied to by yeah, NASA. Well, by the lied to, told the truth to. How do you start a conspiracy? You tell somebody a lie, then you say it's not a lie. And then that starts off a circular debate. The same thing. And then you have to design everything around that light, make sure that it's believable. You can That's what's called the conspiracy theory. Is. You can project an image into the sky and say, look, a UFO, when all it is is a projection. And 3,000 people that see that UFO in the sky say, oh, yeah, yeah, it was a UFO. It's, it's the Undrift Monkey effect, you know? Yeah. The problem is, is that people believe things a lot easier then they can prove things. It's a general consensus of something. The story I heard, a guy down the street put out an orange bin bag and all the other bin bags on bin there were all black. Now, everybody in his street came to his house and said, why have you got an orange bin bag? And he's saying, because there was no spare one, so I got an orange one. Well, anyway, he eventually got his black bin bags and after that day, nobody else ever came and knocked, knocked on his door. So it just goes to show that the community and general consensus of everybody in that community thought that there was something different about that guy. So they had to go and investigate and they thought, well, you know, why has he got orange bin bags and we aren't? Is it jealousy? Is it different sort of opinion of people that see something different in their community that think, oh, yeah, well, that must be this, that must be that. And all the conspiracies start, well, he must be special. You know, he's getting something different to us. Why is his bin bags orange, you know? It's non-confirmation bias. And you're still missing cool the theory. point. point the, well, the point is to give people the tools of discernment and let them figure it out for themselves. 
if exactly. there's objective truth, will come to similar, they might not be exactly 100% the same, but we'll come to similar conclusions. And then we'll just, you know, uh, deal with the air as it comes around and correct people, you know, as as needed. Just give it people the tools. Yes. Hey, you know, there's no curvature over here. There is curvature over here. Or it there's something over here that you are or aren't seeing with this model. You know, when they say that they have these think tanks and they put a thousand people into a room and they're supposed to be the most intelligent people in the world and all that. It's like, well, how do they know that? You know, how do they, how can they level in? How can they measure the level of intelligence in people? It's like, you know, it's, no, but it's not about intelligence. It's about true. knowledge. Knowledge. Well, the yeah, entire knowledge. elite is about knowledge, like a vast amount of data, like knowing things by heart. It's not about knowing the right things. It's about knowing a lot. And people have culturally been taught to mistake knowing a lot of things with being able to distinguish what is real and what is not. Yeah, I can see what you mean. That is the trick. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's um, all smoke and mirrors. How can you know the moon's real or not? Well, no you one. can figure it out with experiments. And I've mentioned all the details about this ever since I came on YouTube. All so kinds of aspects about understand. it, that you're always facing the exact same face of the moon no matter where you are, even at the same time which is a physical impossibility if it is a literal physical object. That's a start. Or it could be just a start. Shape. Or maybe, it could have something else. Oh, but that's been no explained. Rotation. The maybe. possibility of that's been explained. Now, the moon has no rotation or it rotates on its axis facing forward all the time as it yeah. goes around it the, the observer. orbit at 23 degrees, 24 degrees. It always faces every single observer that sees the moon always in the same way, always with always the same the face direction. facing the observer. And so, that is a physical impossibility if it's a object. Not unless it's object. a fixed object and we move past it. it it's it's the other object, way around in the southern hemisphere, is it not? Hmm? Sorry? Sorry, I missed that. Can start again? No person in the world could simultaneously from different angles see the same face of the same globe at the same time it's yeah, impossible is right. that's it's a physical you impossibility of because of the space, space itself is right yeah. you see the actual see it mass of down. the planet even if it was a even if it was a disc it'd be physically impossible yeah even with the biggest telescope in the on the planet you would not be able to see from one side of it to the other the perspective would change it would dip it would rise it fall you'd have to be above it and outside of it but how could that same thing work if it's a hologram because it relates purely to the guys. observer. That's you the only real relation. Power source and a bloody big lens to be able to project a hologram that big. No, this we this just need mm. eyes. Yeah. Point. The show we needs need to end. Eyes. It's all gone wrong. The show needs to end. It's so. all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> no, everything's <laughs> great. It's gone wrong. Where's no. Nathan? He's crying. He doesn't believe anymore. Did he ever believe? The show is finished. No. Nope. Final so words will be from Alan B. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Next time, show your actual face. I'll show my face. Uh, Might need to Thanks, work Alan. on those, uh, those spells of yours to destroy the uh, flat earth movement or whatever it is you guys are doing. But I don't know how to do it. You can't destroy truth. And with that, I'm going to say, first and foremost, a huge, massive, whoa, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and hopefully for sharing this debate. If you haven't, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all. <laughs> Come on, little monster, let me end the show. I will see you all in the next video.